Hello everybody, my name is Ahmed Mirza. I'm a family nurse practitioner and I want to go over with you my journey of becoming a family nurse practitioner. So my first year of college right after high school, I wasn't sure really what I wanted to do. Uh, so I went into college undecided. I was taking basic science courses. I always knew that I wanted to do something in the medical field, but I didn't know exactly what. I entertained dentistry, pre-med, uh, physical therapy. But then I had a family friend that uh, asked me, you know, why don't you consider uh, being a registered nurse? Prior to that, I really, to be honest, I really never even thought about it. I didn't have any friends going into it. Uh, none of the guys I knew were doing it. Um, there was one family friend that was a nurse for a long time, but besides that, I didn't have any exposure. Uh, so I did a lot of digging um, and I really got intrigued by how many different things that you can do as a nurse. Uh, specifically travel nursing and flight nursing I remember were the early on the first things that really kind of got me hooked. Uh, so then I had switched. Uh, I started doing uh, pre-nursing a year after I got accepted to a nursing program, a uh, four-year nursing program. So I did one year of undecided major and then I got accepted to a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. That's a four-year nursing degree. Um, so that took me four years. Uh, so now we're at a total of five years I graduated and now I have a nursing degree. Prior to starting nursing school, I always thought I would just stop at being a nurse. Uh, maybe I would travel uh, to make extra money. But in my junior and senior year of nursing school, I really started liking the science of nursing and wanted to advance my career. Um, and I entertained CRNA uh, or nurse practitioner. I finally decided on CRNA. Uh, and then uh, went on uh, to practice. I started off in a step-down unit, and then I switched to an ICU while I was working in the ICU. Um, I really uh, uh, you know, figured out that I like to deal with chronic illnesses. I like to deal with people of all ages. Um, so I thought CRNA wasn't the best bet for me. Uh, so I worked for two years as a floor nurse, and then I started my master's uh, MSN, master's degree, master's science of nursing for a family nurse practitioner. While I was doing my MSN, I was also working part-time. I switched from ICU to uh, emergency department uh, because emergency department, I felt like, uh, gets you a very good uh, experience for family practice. You see patients of all ages, patients that come into the emergency department are similar to what you would see in a family practice, but acuity is sometimes a little bit higher. But what's the nice thing about it is you see the patient, you can order tests, uh, find out the results right away, and then treat them and send them, send them uh, to their primary care doctor. So it's a very good experience uh, having that as a baseline when going into family practice because you'll see these patients in your family practice and you'll you know you'll have that background doing oh i saw someone similar to this i've ordered tests these are the testing that i did these are the results so you kind of know uh, what the chances of outcome you know can be and whether you can treat them and order the test outpatient or you need to send them to the emergency department so my master's degree took two and a half years to finish and then i finally graduated but to recap all of that took one year and undecided four years Bachelor of Science of Nursing, two years be working as a floor nurse before going into my master's program, and then two and a half years for my master's degree with the grand total of nine and a half years to become a family nurse practitioner. And looking at it now, nine and a half years sounds like a whole lot, but to me, it didn't, it didn't feel like it took you know, a long time because every step of the way was was a stepping stone you know i didn't go in thinking that oh um it's going to take me nine and a half years to become a nurse practitioner uh that's too long my first thing was number one getting into nursing school um i was really passionate about it i worked really hard and i finally got accepted and that was my biggest milestone of my nursing career is getting into nursing school um, and then while in nursing school you know, my uh, uh, milestone to achieve was working really hard uh, and graduating. Uh, so that was the light at the end of the tunnel, finally graduating. And then once you finally graduate, the, the next step is getting a job. So that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm not looking at, oh, uh, I want to be a nurse practitioner and it's going to take this long. No, I set short-term goals and I achieve those short-term goals to give 
yourself to give myself a sense of you know satisfaction um, so you don't get discouraged of how long it takes to become a nurse practitioner and then I started working uh, got some experience and my next goal was getting into uh, a nurse practitioner program at this time I was in Texas and I wanted to make sure I went to a reputable program um, so I actually only applied to two programs uh, one in state which was the University of Texas Mel medical branch which is an in-state tuition. It's the most established uh, program in all of Texas. It was actually the first nurse practitioner program in Texas. It has a very good reputation, and uh, tuition was only about $17,000 for the whole program, uh, in-state tuition. The second program that I applied to uh, was in Washington, D.C. Uh, it was a uh, also a very well-known program. It was a private school, but very expensive. I went ahead and applied for this because the hospital that I was working at um, offered a uh, full tuition payment as long as I committed to two years afterwards, even if it was just PRN. So I said, you know what, let me just apply to the school. It's a really good school and my work will just pay for it. Um, so then I ended up getting accepted to both schools. Uh, neither of them required a GRE, um, but I got accepted to both schools. And after getting accepted, I found out that my work changed their policy and they no longer will be paying the full tuition. They'll only pay $5,000 a year, and that school is $50,000 a year. So that was out of the window. I didn't want to pay that much for my uh, master's degree when I can go to the University of Texas Medical Branch and pay $17,000 for the whole program. So that's what I ended up doing. I went through my school. It was a hybrid type of program. Um, so uh, we would go down to campus at least once a semester uh, sometimes just for one day if we're doing skills or standardized patients where there are patients that are hired as actors by the school and we go and assess them um, and getting tested on that and learning our skills uh, from them um, or we do other uh, skills labs on campus. Uh, so sometimes we're there for three days at a time, sometimes just one day, sometimes twice a semester, but a lot of times it's just once a semester. Clinical rotations were wherever you were living. We had to set up our own clinical rotations. Our school did help us, um, but uh, we were ultimately responsible to set them up. If we couldn't, then they would try to place us somewhere. Um, I would say finding clinicals was the most stressful part of the program. I can sit down and study, no problem. Um, you know, I did really well on my exam. I graduated with a 4.0 um, with the whole program, but finding those clinicals was excruciating. It was very difficult um, and very stressful. Uh, thankfully, I was able to find them all. Um, most of my clinical rotations were at least an hour away of where I lived. Uh, at the time, I was living in Austin, Texas, and actually one of the semesters I had to do a rotation in Houston uh, for a whole semester. So that was stressful, but I got it done. I learned a lot in those rotations. Um, and uh, yeah, so nine and a half years later, I'm a family nurse practitioner. I'm very glad I did it. Uh, it's a very fulfilling job. Uh, the job market is saturated. I can discuss that in a video in the future. Um, but I'm very happy with my job right now. Um, it's a very uh, fulfilling job. Uh, and I can without a doubt say that I enjoy being a nurse practitioner more than working as a bedside nurse. There's a lot less physical labor and more kind of mental labor, so to say. Um, and uh, it's just very, it's a very gratifying career. Not everybody follows my path. Some people start off with an associate's in nursing and then go to work uh, and then have their hospital pay for their BSN and then apply to their master's. That's a good way to, to get through it with low uh, tuition and low debt. A lot of people in my class had a lot more experience than I did. I had two years going in. By the time I graduated, I had four and a half years of nursing experience, but I had two years of nursing experience when I started my program. I would say majority of my classmates were middle age, maybe uh, 35 and up. Um, and uh, I was in my mid twenties when I started. Um, but uh, there's people with all kinds of experience and um, which is I think is important. I think it's important to have at least two years nursing experience before going and getting your nurse practitioner degree because the nurse practitioner program really um, builds upon your your uh, bachelor nursing degree and your experience and you take you bring that experience with you when you practice as a nurse practitioner which is crucial. 
Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you, you got some uh, good uh, info out of this and maybe uh, this can inspire you to become a nurse practitioner or just uh, give you an idea of what it's like to become a nurse practitioner. All right, please give it a big thumbs up and uh, subscribe for more content in the future. Bye.